Hello everyone, we will continue the topic database operations and in the previous video we discussed yes database operation deals with database tables and we have total five database operation select, insert, update, delete and modify. Select operation is already covered, whatever the programs we developed so far, everywhere we fetched data from database table using which particular database operation select. Now, what we will do, we will create a program and in that program, we will capture or we will go for all other four database operation means we will go for insert, update, delete and modify. So what we will do, we will take a requirement first and we will in that particular requirement, we will apply all four database operations. So what we will do, firstly, I will go to SC11 transaction code. We all develop the order header table. Now what we will do, this is a database table. In this table, we will insert the record. We will delete the record from this database table. We will update the record of this database table. Then we will modify. Modify means we will do insert and update both using modify because we all know modify fulfill both the purpose insert plus update so we will create a program and in that program we will go for four database operation insert update delete and modify and we will use this this particular database table to perform all these database operations. So what I will do, I will go to SC38 transaction code. You all know, yes, whenever we want to create a program, we can always, always create a program through SC38 transaction code. So first word, first letter should be Z or Y. Suppose I'm saying Z demo, database operations. I will click on to create button. I will give the title to the program. Suppose I will write demo on database operations. I will choose the type as executable program because we will execute the program. I will go for save. Suppose I will save this program as a local object. I will activate the program. So what we will do in this program, what we will do? Firstly, we will take five parameters, five parameters. One parameter for order number, order date, payment mode, total amount, and currency. We will take five parameters because what were the requirement we will take that at a time we will insert only one order number. We will delete one order number. We will update one order number. We will modify one order number at a time. So you all know very, very well Whenever you want to go for single input, you are always, always taking the parameter. So what the requirement we are taking that at a time we will go for one order number. So I will take five parameters, order number, order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. And I will take four radio buttons, radio buttons. What will be those four radio button? One radio button for insert, one radio button for delete, one radio button for update, one radio button for modify. And depends upon the radio button, 
we will perform the respective database operation. Just wait once the practical will be there, you will get the full clarity. So firstly, I will take five parameters. So I will write parameters. You all know for parameters is the keyword. So we will firstly take first parameter for order number. I will write P underscore O N O. The keyword is time. I will write the data element of order number. You all know control D is the shortcut to duplicate a line. Now next one will be order date. P underscore order date. And I will pass the data element of order date. Now we will go for third parameter. Third parameter will be of payment. I will pass that data element of payment mode. Now next thing will be total amount. P underscore T A. I will pass the data element of total amount. Now we will go for currency. I will pass the data element of currency. I will check the syntax and I will activate. Now, whenever I will run this program, so we have five parameters, but end user will never understand this. So we need to pass the selection text. So I will go for go to text element selection text. And I will choose DDIC reference so that it will take the description from the data element itself. And you can see this all description is from the data element itself. Whenever I will run the program, now you can see end user will understand this very well. Now what we will do, we will take four radio buttons now you all know very very well and in it is already explained how to create radio buttons radio buttons should belong to one group one group so how to create radio button i will write parameters suppose name of the first radio button is p underscore r1 type c radio button group suppose my name of the radio button group is r1 you all know radio button length is always one it will be true or false it will be capital x or it will be space now i will go for second radio button third radio button fourth radio button p underscore r2 p underscore r3 P underscore R4. Now I will check the syntax. I will activate and we will pass the selection text. Go to text element selection text. So first radio button, suppose it will be for insert. It will be for delete. It will be for update. And it will be for modify we will activate i will go to back button once i will run now you can see very very well we have four radio buttons and we have five input parameters now whenever user will give the input and insert radio button is ticked we will go for insert operation Whenever delete radio button is ticked, we will go for delete operation. Whenever update radio button is ticked, we will go for update operation. And whenever modify radio button is ticked, we will go for modify. We will go for modify database operation. Now it is your wish. By default, first radio button is ticked. If you want to go for other radio buttons as ticked, 
it's your wish how you want to go suppose by default if you want fourth radio button to be ticked you can pass that default value you all know you can pass default and what will be the value capital x default capital x it should be capital x because capital x means true so fourth radio button will be by default ticked you can see now the fourth radio button is by default tick it's your wish how you want to go and you all know very very well same thing we can do through initialization event also that part we already covered yes if you want to assign that default values you can go for initialization event also or in this case you can provide that default value like this also now we all know very very well whenever user will click on to this button this button which event will trigger at that point of time start of selection in this video you will get a chance to use some of the classical report events also and yes once the topic will proceed you will automatically understand we will use at selection screen output also at selection screen also because we need to go for validation part also now what we will do we all know whenever user will click on to this execute button which event will call start of selection so i will write start of selection now we all know very very well suppose i will write some dummy logic here suppose i will write some dummy logic and show you now whenever i will put a break point here suppose i will go for insert operation whenever you will go for insert operation first radio button will be true true all other radio button will be false false so how we will write the logic if first radio button is capital x we will write the logic for insert just see p underscore r1 is capital x p underscore r2 is space p underscore r3 is space p underscore r4 is space so whenever p underscore r1 is capital x we will write the logic for insert insert suppose if i will go for second radio button i will go for delete operation so in this case p underscore r2 will be capital x all other will be spaces suppose p underscore r4 space p underscore r3 space p underscore r2 is capital x and p underscore r1 is space so whenever p underscore r2 is capital x we will go for delete operation suppose if i will go for update so in that case p underscore r3 will be capital x all other will be spaces r1 r2 r3 r4 so p underscore r3 is capital x we will go for update operation and if p underscore r4 is capital x we will go for modify operation so you can see we have r1 r2 r3 and we have r4 so r4 is capital x all other are spaces so what is the summary of the video in this video we started with the practical part of database operation we took five parameters but the requirement we took that we will perform database operation insert date delete and modify on to our order header table so what we did we took five 
parameters. One parameter for order number, order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. And we took four radio buttons. And depends upon the radio button selection, we will perform the respective database operation. And we saw in the debugging mode, whenever one radio button is ticked, value will be capital X. And whenever we will click on to this execute button, start of selection event will call. So what we will do in the next video, we will start with our first database operation insert. We will write the logic to insert a record to our database table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.